The newly installed commanding officer of Shore Base Air Defense Battalion Provisional will now read and sign his assumption orders. Philippine Navy, headquarters, Philippine Marine Corps, Marine Barracks, Sudan, Brown, Taking City. Dated 22 June 2022. Assumption. Pursuant to paragraph 1, section 2, General Orders Number 115, Headquarters, Philippine Marine Corps, dated 21 June 2022, are hereby assumed the duties and responsibilities as Commanding Officer, Service, Air Defense Battalion, Effective Distinct, and assigned to your presence. We will request the Commandant of the Marine Corps to be assisted by Assistant Chief of Marine Staff or Personnel MC1 to pin the Marine Battalion Command Batch Interim to Major Dennis Q. Tubo with the Navy Marine Corps. This batch shall be worn by subject officer during his incumbency as Battalion Commander and shall be called Terminus which is relieved from that position. Superintendent 
Foreign Court Force Development Center, Colonel Gregorio P. Hernandez, Jr., Philippine Paris, D.C. Commander Postal Defense Regiment, Colonel Romulo D. Imado, D.C., Philippine Paris, D.C. Other guests, the Under Secretary Arthur I. Tapiro, sir. Good morning, sir. Our Senator, Honorable Robin Carreño Palilla, sir. Other senior officers present, Unit Commanders aboard Marine Barracks of Dr. Brown. Senior Investigators, 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 all safety here to witness one of the memorable events of the Philippine Marine Corps. Today marks the moment of opportunity in my military journey. It is also the beginning of the chapter that is entirely different from what I have been doing in the Marine Corps. It is also the beginning of the chapter that is entirely different from my previous military assignments. The Shore Base Air Defense Battalion, for we all know, that this is a new capability of the Philippine Marine Corps. We can say that this new capability is a game changer and being designated as its first commanding officer is a very challenging role to fulfill or this will allow for a more self-discovery of new strength and capabilities in the other phases of my being. It will bring out other aspects that need enhancement to do my job better. They say Army. that great things come to those who win. But we win. That is great. But we win. During this time that I wait for that opportunity to move up. And for times that I must pass that opportunity. I draw strength and encouragement from this aspect, chapter 3, verse 1, where it says, for everything there is a system, a time for every activity to be perfected, and the prayers for a new career opportunity finally came. Captain. 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 Thus, I take pride in assuming the duties and responsibilities as the commanding officer of shore-based early days battalion. Being assigned to this battalion requires typical knowledge and skills in the field of chivalrous art, which I believe I will fit in. My exposure to the department's Philippine Marine Corps can be of great help in effectively organizing and managing the technology heavy task of service for the battalion. Pending the arrival of the major equipment of this unit, I will be focusing and prioritizing our programs and activities on the non-material aspects, particularly such as personal training and doctrine development while gradually addressing the facility requirements of this unit. I will be conducting the training needs analysis that is based on the mission to see the of the unit. Also, I will endeavor to coordinate with headquarters and to other government agencies 